Hello friends, welcome to Basic Electrical YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to provide solutions for uh, this MCQs, 10 MCQs for this is for set 6. Okay, one of the uh, regular interaction with me that is my subscriber send this material. I hope this uh, material is useful for other colleges also. Okay, so I don't know which college material it is. Okay, some questions are good. See, let me uh, read the first question in this set. The average value of a sinusoidal varying quantity is dash times the maximum value. See, you can remember RMS value formula. What is RMS value of a sinusoidal waveform? I m by root 2. Very good. See, here, the this is there, na? I m. I m value. This is called maximum value. And this is RMS. Oh, sorry. They given what? Average value. So, please, please kindly uh, remember the average value formula. See, average value of a sinusoidal varying quantity is this formula. 2 I m by pi. Okay. What is 2 pi? What is 2 by pi? 2 by pi, if you do it in calculator, you will get 0.637. So, therefore, the average value is 0.637 times of what is this maximum value 0.637 into I m. So you can write it here. The average value of a sinusoidal varying quantity is 0.637 times of maximum value. This is the formula. I average is equal to 0.637 times of maximum. How we got 0.637? Just dividing 2 by pi. That's it, numerical value. Next, if current drawn by the circuit is lagging the voltage, if the current drawn by the circuit is lagging the voltage by an angle pi, then the circuit elements are 100% RL circuit, a series RL circuit. Okay. Got it? Understood. So, the current drawn by circuit is lagging the voltage by an angle pi. Yes, it is RL circuit. Next, in a three phase, in a three phase star connected system, the line voltage is equal to uh, this one, root 3 times of phase voltage. In star, currents are same. Line current, phase current are equal. But line voltage is root 3 times of uh, phase voltage. Next. Next question, at given power factor, transformer works at maximum efficiency when, when option 1, copper loss is more than core loss, no, copper loss is less than core loss, no, not, not correct, copper loss is equal to core loss, copper loss is equal to alpha of the core loss, no, third option is correct, when we can attain maximum efficiency in a transformer, when iron loss is equal to copper loss. Okay, when iron loss is equal to full load copper loss, FL. PCUFL, full load copper loss. Okay, so option 3 is correct. Next, a two-way switch is having definite on and off position. Second one, on or off depends on position of other two-way switch. Either one or two, none of this. So, correct option is Second one, see a two-way switch is having definite on and off position. No, no, because the switch is connected to uh, switch is connected to a live wire only. So uh, there are three terminals. There is a uh, three terminals in two-way switch. One is called a uh, common terminal. The middle one is connected to uh, live wire. Okay, and other two are uh, this one. Let me say one and two. These two are position changing terminals okay either i can connect to position 1 or i can connect to position 2 so this is a correct option it it won't decide on and off definite on or definite off not like that both the switches are connected in series uh, uh, in the live wire only so it is position changing terminals so therefore it on and off depends on okay on and off depends on the position of other two way switch but it is not definite on or definite off. Not like that. It is, it is having position changing terminals. 
we can connect either top side or bottom side okay got it so third option is second option is correct the direction of emf generated in dc generator is obtained by fleming's right hand rule okay repeated question next the direction of motion the direction of motion of a dc motor is obtained by using see in dc motor we are going to use a left hand rule fleming's left hand rule in a dc generator right hand rule dc or ac generator right hand rule a dc motor or ac motor fleming's left hand rule okay direction of motion and direction of force everything can be determined by left hand rule next the emf equation of an alternator with usual notations is 4.44 f by tp kc kd yes it is correct and when see whenever turn is there 4.44 is correct whenever conductor is there 2.22 is correct so first one and third one is correct both are correct but in fourth option they given second and third that is wrong so you make a changes in the fourth option both one and three are correct okay got it so okay guys next question induction motor is preferred as a drive because of better efficiency better operating power factor self starting motor self starting feature see all of this this are this is the advantage of the induction motor it of efficiency is better uh, and operates at good power factor and it is a self starting feature if it is a three phase induction motor it is having self starting feature so this is most recommended to use in drive applications okay which required motion action the most ideal tariff of the consumer is which tariff two part tariff okay got it even this is also not a viva question it is general discussion this is a debate type of questions okay uh, what they will ask no fuse is a weakest or strongest link like that hmm? so because uh, we can use this uh, in any different uh, types of explanation can be given okay so i am going to recommend for this 10th uh, question two part tariff is most ideal tariff okay guys uh, thanks for watching so my subscriber i send this material uh, that material is having totally six pages i thought it was uh, set 1 to set uh, set 6 i provided solution for all the six six sets okay please do like share and subscribe to our channel if you not yet subscribed please subscribe to our channel support our channel you can watch uh, uh, basic electronics lectures so in the upcoming days thank you so much have a nice day all the best for your exams